dog, a guard dog. Steamer here has got to make this station safe for my arcade, and this is the way to do it. One big, mean, ferocious, people-hating ah, guard dog. Oh, Steamer, I think you got the wrong kind of dog. Uh, that is not the only precaution that I <laughs> Viola, Steamer's super safety security system. What? Watch this. When some dumb crook comes up here trying to steal my nickel, he'll come up and he'll go like this and... <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Steamer, you caught me! I didn't know you did look too smart for this, Steamer! Oh, help, help, be gentle, be gentle! <laughs> And this, this dog, is the icing on the cake. Don't you think you've gone overboard, Steamer? It's George, there's no such thing as going overboard when there are nickels involved. This pooch here is going to help me catch the guy who's been stealing my nickels. Come on, man, either. Let's go. Steamer, we just simply can't have this at Shining Time Station. Hey, it's George, my okay, now defend it the way I want to. This pooch and I are going to catch that guy who's taking the nickel. Come on, let's go. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I love you. It's the Steve guy. Come on. I love you. <laughs> okay. Relax. Take a chill pill. Let's just go back to puppy school and learn to become man's best friend, huh?
He's a friendly one, too. You look like you stepped in a mud puddle, Mr. Conductor. It was more like the mud puddle stepped on me. Anyone interested in a mud pie? No, thanks. Thank you. That was very helpful. <laughs> I wish your friend was there to help Gordon this morning on the island of Sodor. Why don't I tell you about it? One morning, Thomas was being cleaned when Gordon arrived. Mud had blown all over his smart blue paint. Hello, Gordon, called Thomas. You look as if you've had a mud bath. Be a sensible engine and have a shower instead. Gordon snorted. I haven't time to dawdle over my appearance like fussy tank engines do. The wind blew stronger. Gordon, slow down, called his driver. This made Gordon crosser still. Now I'll be dirty and late. Dirty and late, he hissed. At the next station was a sign. All trains must wash down daily. James had just finished being clean. Come on, Gordon, said his driver. You'll feel better, too, after a good hose down. Ah, said Gordon, and angrily let off steam. You're a very naughty engine, said Gordon's driver. Now James will need another shower. You'll have to wait your turn till later. Good riddance, huffed Gordon. I'm far too busy to waste time with water. He finished his journey safely and steamed into the big station. The top of hat was waiting. So were Gordon's coaches and the passengers. Goodness gracious, said Sir Topham Hatt. You can't pull the train. Henry will have to do it. Gordon, you'd better get clean straight away. Gordon was soon being washed. Mind my eyes, he grumbled. Then he pulled cars for the rest of the day. Freight trains, freight trains, he spluttered. He felt his position deeply. That's for you, and you, and you. Cars will be cars, laughed James. They won't with me, snorted Gordon. I'll teach them. James got ready to take the express when Gordon returned. Be careful, warned Gordon. The hills are slippery. You may need help. I don't need help on hills, replied James huffily. Gordon thinks he knows everything. Earlier, a storm had swept Gordon's hill, blowing leaves onto the tracks, which made them slippery. Even though the storm had passed, the hill was still difficult to climb. James knew this. The signal showed clear, and James began to go faster. I'll do it, I'll do it, he puffed. Halfway up, he was not so sure. I must do it. I must do it. But his wheels slipped on the leaves. He couldn't pull the train at all. Help! Help! Whistled James. 